Algeria, that unknown yet wonderful country. Not everybody thinks about it when thinking about their holidays, but they should. So to help you prepare your trip, we bring you these things not to do in Algeria. No, before you go. One, don't forget your visa. The visa to Algeria isn't particularly the easiest one, and unfortunately, it's required for most countries in the world. So try to have it ready before you start your trip and you'll avoid a lot of trouble. Two, don't expect sleep to be cheap. Mass tourism doesn't really exist in Algeria, so hotels are very expensive if we compare them to how cheap everything else is in the country. You can find prices from 30 euros to 200 euros, although most of them are over 50 euros a night. If you are traveling with a lower budget, you can always get a youth hostel instead, where you'll pay around two euros per night. On the other hand, you could always try couch surfing, making sure the people you choose look safe and have many positive references, of course. It's a great way to meet local people. Three, don't forget your dictionary. Most of the younger people do know English, but don't hold on to that. It's not that easy to find people who speak English. The official language in Algeria is Arabic, and some people speak French, as it was a French colony. So if you want to be able to communicate, bring a French dictionary. Four, don't get a taxi. Taxis are expensive and usually try to cheat tourists. You can use the Yasir mobile app, which is basically the same as Uber, or get a bus. Although they don't tend to follow their schedules, renting a car isn't cheap either. And if you go to the desert, try to book a flight. They're not too expensive and you'll save some time too. Five, don't forget your cell. If you want to be able to move freely without a guide and find historical places, hotels or restaurants by yourself, don't forget to bring your cell phone and install the Waze app, which is a free driving directions and live traffic map app that works the best in Algeria. Six, don't travel everywhere. Borders with Libya, Mauritania, Mali and Niger are absolutely no-go zones in Algeria. They're the most dangerous ones, as are remote or mountainous areas. But don't worry, because these areas are far from all the tourist attractions. 7. Don't rely on having Wi-Fi everywhere. Sure, big hotels, offices and random apartments are sure to have a Wi-Fi connection. However, if you're out and about and want to use some internet in Algeria, you'll need to get a local SIM card with data, which will cost you around 5 to 10 euros per month. And out of the three different networks they have, choose Mobilis. It has a better range. 8. Don't forget your money. Here, the local currency is the Algerian dinar, and there are not many places where ATM machines accept international bank cards. Sure, you could try the airports, huge hotels like the Sheraton, or regular banks, but sometimes they're out of money. So to avoid being left without your monies, bring some emergency cash too. Nine, don't start your diet just yet. In Algeria, they eat a lot of fast food, such as shawarma and fries. They're very cheap and you'll find them everywhere. But you can always go to a restaurant to eat nice food if you prefer, which will cost you about the same as Western European restaurants do. Oh, and don't forget, drinking alcohol in public is forbidden. 10. Don't think it's all just sand. When people think of Algeria, they imagine riding camels in the desert. But guess what? There are also cars, buses and trains, just like in your city. Yep, this is a civilized country. Sure, the Sahara Desert occupies four-fifths of the Algerian territory, but they also have a coastline, ancient Roman Empire ruins and stunning heritage of the Ottoman Empire, Spain, France and more. Where would you like to know what not to do in next? Comment below. <laughs>